good morning guys welcome back to the channel my name is abby and i heartily welcome you to the caribbean and to my container garden here in trinidad and tobago this morning i'm going to take you on a quiet beautiful tour of my garden garden tour number three of 2024 but before i get into that i'm going to feed the chickens and i will share with you guys what's going on come on Okay guys, so let's start this beautiful garden tour. This, I am at the orange tree right now. This orange tree, I planted into this drum. I don't even know how many gallons it is, but it's quite a bit of soil. And the orange tree is doing better now that I've been treating it for the spider mites. The spider mites affected the foliage like this. Don't know if I can see it on camera now. I can find a leaf with all those red things underneath. A lot of them have died and fell off of the leaves, but it had a lot of red little things crawling all over the leaves. But since treating the tree, it has sent out a ton, a ton of new growth. You can see the thickness of the foliage a ton of new leaves have come out unaffected and uh, the good thing about it since then the orange tree has fruited isn't that amazing the orange tree has fruited so i have about three fruits i've noticed three fruits so we have one to three fruits on this orange tree. Another pest that I noticed on the citrus was uh, like a little tiny grasshopper. I think that's what they call a leaf hopper. And, uh, with the treatment as well, I'm not seeing those at the moment. So the tree is doing relatively better as well as the cucumber. In this container, I have quite a few plants in this container. I have zinnias, I have gumfrinas, and I tucked in this um, cucumber because I had nowhere else to put it, and it was a great decision. They are both doing well together. In fact, I have quite a bit of cucumbers to pick. Quite a bit of cucumbers to pick off of this vine. So let me do that now, and we will move on to the next part. to have any more in here. One thing I would like to highlight is if you have curling of your foliage, this is also another indication of mites on your plant. 
So what a zinnia seed normally looks like, it looks like this, nice and open. But if you're seeing that you're starting to get this curling, thickish feeling of your leaves, it affects all plants, guys, all plants. So since spraying, what is this down in here? So it affects all plants. And since spraying, everybody has been doing exponentially well much much better so moving on to our onion suitcase <laughs> so this also is doing really really well as you can see the ton of growth that these onions have put on in this suitcase so the onions they have what's um good is that it has a lot of leaves so the more leaves that it sends out the more greenery that it shoots out indicates how big your bulb is going to get and this is doing pretty good Onions are very heavy feeders, so I'm going to have to give this some more compost to encourage it along. Next to it, I have another drum here where I planted my Spanish thyme in the drum with this uh, Spanish Panama berry. So it sends out, let me see if I can get a better angle so you can see the berry. There you go, it sends out this tiny berry and uh, it tastes just like cotton candy what's exciting is that the bees are loving the beautiful flowers that it sends out quite beautiful so the whole tree right now has tons and tons and tons of berries on it and i planted those berries mostly for my children to be able to come out and pick a fruit and enjoy it and which child don't love cotton candy so far the both of them are enjoying this fruit and so this plant in this tree was a win-win for me just two days ago we started some new seeds my son and I we planted zinnias and we are seeing germination already just two days ago so I'm seeing the zinnia the okra I'm seeing even the fine thyme I'm seeing in there, you see that the fine thyme in there is also germinating. So, we'll just wait and see what comes up. A ton of growth happening here on the yard stead. So this is how my garden is looking from a long distance at the moment. <laughs> I bought that. I'll probably share a video with that in a couple days. But this is how my garden is looking right now. Not quite set up. Not quite picturesque. But it is for a purpose. The neighbor's doing work on his gate. So these flowers, I don't know the name of it, but since spring, these flowers have been blooming beautifully. I even have a little periwinkle in here, and that too is looking to bloom. All the plants that I have here, they're just catching themselves. Look at this zinnia. Do you remember I was saying my ma my rosemary didn't know what was wrong with it? The mites was on the rosemary as well. And so you can see the rosemary is sending out a ton of new growth. And it is going to... It's looking up. It's looking as though with continuous treatment and TLC, it will catch itself. This is the tomato tree that I transplanted. It has a bit of leaf miner on it but it's okay this is in this pot i have a giant yellow marigold that i started from seed that's the very last seed i had in that one so i'm so grateful that it is doing well you can see that it's starting to root 
trying to get it to focus yeah so it's starting to root down there so I'm gonna just hill up some soil on it to encourage encourage it to grow better I'm gonna start on this side and then go around the plants because there's no structure really right now everything just clumped up together all my ornamentals all my succulents everyone everything is doing so so much better this has grown twice the size it was these things are looking so much better my butterfly plant this is a tonka bean i would probably talk about this this the main tree is this big tree here tonka bean the peppers look at that guys look i haven't seen foliage like this on peppers in years <laughs> in years i always had this these types of foliage on my peppers but now you can see the big difference on the foliage of these peppers over here you can see how much this mexican sunflower has grown so much more it is like triple the size it was in three weeks this as well the gumfrina these are doing so so much better this has sprung i had this stuck inside the pot for so long and it wasn't sending out leaves now it is leafing out this is a celosia so this will just be a focal point flowers just to give me joy over here i have a yellow pear tomato it's a cherry tomato you can see it has some green ones on it it is quite sweet some dill in here along with it and a uh, zinnia over here behind it is the banana peppers and look at those foliage so much better i'm trying to give it some more sunlight try to <laughs> the, the zucchini is trying to take over the sunlight there so look how lovely those leaves are looking in comparison to what it was before so everything is doing much better much much better the tomato tree has doubled in, in size and the bushiness that it was originally look at the vibrancy of this purple flower this is what we call the morning glory the vibrancy of this is amazing and the way the stem is designed is as if the flower just floating in mid-air you know that structure is just so beautiful so my elephant ears as well these are doing pretty good they're catching back themselves they're standing up a little bit more erect here my cuban oregano these two are doing pretty pretty good over here i have zucchini growing guys <laughs> isn't that amazing i can't get over it forgive my chicken she, she's 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 singing her song <laughs> so this is the bean tower this is the bean tower over here and uh, i planted beans on the side you could go and check out my video on a free vertical trellis it is effective look at this look at how beautiful this looks so i have two beans on this tower i have the purple potted which is right now flowering and that's exciting so we have the purple potted um bean flowering here and i'm excited because i don't really i think i have like two more beans or two more seeds of purple potted so i'm mostly hoping to get a harvest to get back stock because i don't think i'll be able to get those seeds again and i also have a green bean 
can't remember the name of it right now, but that's how this um, tower is doing. On the top of it, I planted the zucchini as well as a, what is this, dill up there. We, my kids love it in their pasta and they love it with potatoes. So I tend to grow it and then I put it to freeze, blend it with olive oil and freeze it for the year. Okay, so moving on, I have some peppers. Peppers seem to prefer a little bit of shade in our extreme temperatures here in the tropics. So this is a jalapeno. Look at that. I haven't seen foliage like this in a long time. This is what I was seeing for many years. Look at that. But now the new growth has come on. And it's doing so much better. Even this ornamental as well is doing way better. Over here is our suitcase. The next half of it will be planted radishes, carrots, as well as beetroot. And this too is doing pretty good. But I think I need to move it to a more uh, sunny area so that it encourages the photosynthesis and the root development so that's how this one is going over here oh just taking a moment just taking the beautiful orange flowers this is what i had in mind just having that trellis filled up with foliage and these beautiful blooms even if it's for a day or two so that's what's happening this will have butternut squash as well as a pumpkin i'm not too sure what type of pumpkin but i enjoyed it and right now there are a couple of male flowers coming out on this vine i had to prune out some of the leaves because i'm seeing the mosaic virus the butternut squash is very susceptible to the mosaic virus so since we had um like one and one or two sprinkles rain the mosaic virus showed up with that so it's all over this plant so i probably will just use the you can see it's like a spore like a yeah like a spore like kind of thing attacking the plant so i'll just use some milk water to try and smother those spores to stop it from spreading to the other plants this this plant is not seeming to be affecting this um these variegated leaves for some reason it doesn't affect these leaves as much as it does the butternut squash let's just take a moment how big these leaves are guys it's ginormous it's like three times my hand it's pretty cool it's pretty neat all right to go back around <laughs> and come to the other side of the garden so over here i have my shadow benny uh, we stopped buying shadow benny for many years now so shadow benny pops up everywhere in the containers and i just leave it these are badgy and um yeah so just ornamentals my uh, broadleaf thyme that's doing well and then this zucchini as well has zucchini growing on it so i'm excited but to be honest, these plants need amending. They need some nutrients. So I'm going to have to make some kind of compost tea to feed them. So this is another plant, another pepper plant. And it had flowers, but I didn't get any fruit. But now I know what it is. It's a jalapeno. And I have this plant for almost, almost a year with nothing, no success. But now... <laughs> It's doing so, 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 so much better. So we have some jalapenos on it, as well as some new blooms taking place inside there. This too is having a new lease on life, sending out new foliage. Behind me here, I have in this drum, a rough skin lemon. This too was being attacked relentlessly. Actually, I almost lost this plant it we look at the trunk 
it was a much bigger plant half of the tree died and i refused to give up on it and uh it is now standing out new foliage on its leaves so that's exciting that's super super exciting so we're sending out a whole set of new leaves so you'll see how this goes i don't want to cut off this branch even though it's lowered down i probably will have to find something to prop it up off the ground like that but yep i'm okay with it for now behind here in this pot i also have some okra i need to harvest this one you know how I, my test is to tell me so it's quite it's quite um flexible so this is still good to go so i'm going to take this okra with me inside and i'm going to fry this up for breakfast This okra tree, I don't know what kind of okra this was, but it is a volunteer. Beautiful, beautiful foliage. Beautiful flowers as well. Well, the cantaloupe, it finally kicked the bucket. It's completely dried away, so I have to pull this down and put all this into a trash bag given the circumstances and when my new melon sugar baby um germinates i will be planting sugar baby instead of the silver yamato all right so let's go around to the side where i can share with you guys now my salad bar so we before i had lettuces in here so what i did is i pull out the lettuces the green lettuces that is because the merlot is still here and i planted the merlot alongside the side and in the center i planted pak choy and they're doing pretty good in here guys they're doing really well in here as well as i also planted those spring onions or green onions in the back there so this is my salad bar I keep protected with this tool to stop bugs and stuff and to give me less work as well in the garden because I really don't have time to be tackling these bugs on a daily basis. So I just put this, this uh, piece of wire over the top and drape the tool. I need to get me a new one, but it's working for now. Stop the butterflies, especially from get into my leafy greens pretty neat coming down i have more pak choy we love pak choy salad actually i prefer it to lettuce salad it's a little bit more of a crunch in your mouth and uh, pak choy salad is something that everyone in my family loves i also interplanted Let's see if I can get this raised up. I also interplanted peppers in here, some sweet peppers. So these two are doing so much better. Look at those foliage. I can get I can get these things to look like this. Also, the tarragon is doing really well as well. In this spot, you notice I also have a I have a Popo tree and guess what it's blooming and fruiting so this is doing pretty good in this little planter box that my husband built for me he initially built this for me because underneath here i had my puppy my my um jumbo but he passed away since passed away oh on this side i also had um oregano oregano yeah i think I think that's either oregano or marjoram one of the two of these and um my husband's cousin my cousin-in-law gave me this plant and uh, it grew all over and i just loved how it draped down so i just encourage it to continue growing there and that too is sending out new shoots down there it's doing pretty good 
going around the corner over here i finally got the name of this plant it is a type of hibiscus they called it uh what uh, a c word um oh my gosh it's not coming to me but it's a beautiful flower that changes color as the day progresses and i am super excited i'm <laughs> i'm constantly looking for buds to see if it will bloom soon but this too has sent since spray look how much new growth has just taken place in a matter of weeks on this plant so it doesn't have as much pressure you can see it still has some white fly there but yeah it's doing so so much better my um celosi not celosi what's this again oh boy but this too is doing great sending out a ton of new shoots okay so in the last video you heard me said i needed to treat my mint tree so i have it here in this drum with a little bit of the chemicals in there and uh, i'm just going to keep it until it absorbs all of that to kind of bring down that population of whatever that was in the soil in this in this um pot so over here <laughs> it's amazing i'm 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 no i don't know what to say but this strawberry plant has produced one two new plants since spring since spring guys this thing just wanted to live so you can see the new growth is coming out and it has sent out that runner as well as this one in the back there it's not as curled up so i'm just excited to see where these strawberries go here i have a couple of um passion fruit plants I also have one over there i cleaned out that whole pot and transplanted one piece of the lemongrass with a passion fruit vine back here is where i have some ginger the ginger you can see all the older branches are all drooping continue to die back but what's happening is that it's sending out new shoots so I'm going to have to get in here real soon and harvest out these gingers because that is more than mature. Over here I have my cucumber vine and it reached the top. It reached the top guys. Look how beautiful this plant looks. Let me just step back so you can appreciate how lovely this is looking. So this plant is doing pretty good as well. It has some fruit in there. They're not ready to pick. Has a bit of fruit inside here as well. Um, so these is where um, I had sprinkled ash trying to, to, to kill those spider mites. But this is how the leaves look. This is how they look when you are affected by the spider mites. That's exactly how it looks. I keep showing this because I realized that I'm seeing my neighbors spraying a lot as well. Like it, it seems to be a territorial thing. Like my area is just being super affected by these things. So I have some more um, Spanish Cuban oregano, some more gumfrinas. I just need the prettiness. And I also have here in this little tiny three gallon pot this avocado plant that i planted from seed and uh yeah to my left i have my why is the name of this plant eluding me at this time but this is doing really well as well it's continued to bush out and i'm excited for the pop of color as well as these flowers are doing so so good look at that it starts off pink and then it gets this beautiful white cream with splashes of green. It's pretty nice. I recently learned that that's named the crown of thorns because it is quite thorny. Quite thorny. <laughs> Butterfly plant as well is doing good. It's being visited by the bees. Over here I have a barbadine vine this too has taken off since spring in fact i have an open flower look at that flower just appreciate how beautiful that is and the scent it is amazing it's quite perfumey 
quite perfumey. These plants are finally growing. They weren't growing. Now that I've sprayed, they are finally growing. So this is pumpkin and a butternut squash as well. This is what I was used to growing, but not in a container, not huge leaves. Look how small this one is. It's could fit into the bottom of my hands. But these are now starting to take off. So I'm excited about that. The banana, the dwarf banana plant, my sugar cane is sending out shoots like crazy. I took it out of the pot and I just left it here and it's doing its own thing. And uh, the sugar cane is growing, sending out more and more and more and more and more <laughs> sugar cane. I'm okay with that. I also have some vervine. The hummingbirds love this flower. Um, some ponytail palm. This needs a new pot. But that's what this is and uh don't know what this is either but this is doing so much better as well it's gotten taller i cut my fern all the way back because i wanted to make sure that i get whatever bugs was in this pot as well and i sprayed this entire area so heading down into the back most of my fence line as well is shooting new foliage before the leaves were looking like this quite mottled but now it's sending out new growth so the fence line as well is looking so much better it's up for a trim coming around here to the back this is the ginger we planted together see how much it's grown it's doing pretty good over here sending out new starting to run around so it's just for me to come and put some more mulch and keep the weed pressure at bay over here i drape this around trying to keep the white fly away from my um christophine and i'm seeing the tip of the plant doing looking pretty good in there this one i don't know it's not looking so happy Anyway, we'll see where it goes from there. Continuing down, I got my, look at that. Have you ever seen a pineapple fruit? Look at that, that beautiful lilac. It's amazing, it's beautiful. It's as if the plants say, here, take my beautiful flower. <laughs> It's beautiful. So the pineapple is doing good. The pumpkin that I planted in here since spray is doing good as well. And I came out here yesterday and noticed what? Ta -da! Another pineapple flower. So now I have two fruits in pineapple and I am ever so thrilled. The butternut squash that I planted in here as well since spray is doing a lot better. You can see, you can see that it was under a lot of pressure in the back here the plantain tree in the back here is doing well and it's in a drum as well that's doing pretty pretty good all the ginger in the back here is doing good as well yeah so things are looking up in the garden and um i got my first <laughs> I got my first harvest here in the yard stand and uh, it's small but so appreciated thanking Jehovah every day for small mercies big mercies all the mercies that he extends to me and uh, to us actually as a human family so much he's done so that we can have an opportunity to live not just for now but forever as he originally uh, purposed when he put Adam and Eve in that garden he knew that we would enjoy taking care of the earth and I am looking forward to doing that eternally so guys that's where we're going to end the video today that's how the garden is looking now it's doing much better in comparison to the first garden tour where I wasn't aware of what I was dealing with and now that I'm tackling that problem 
the garden is doing so so much better if you enjoyed the, the video please give it a thumbs up share with your family and friends and uh, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button because in my on my channel what i'm planning to do is to encourage you to grow no matter where you are get up and get growing take care guys see you in the next one bye Thank mm -hmm. you.